Shalom, brothers and sisters. This week, I would like to talk to you about the point and purpose of the Book of Mormon. The first one is in 2 Nephi. In the Universal Book of Mormon, it's 2 Nephi 11, 48, 25, 26. And we talk of Christ. We rejoice in Christ. We preach of Christ. We prophesy of Christ. And we write according to our prophecies that our children may know to what source they may look for remission of their sins. The second one I want to read is in the Universal Book of Mormon, this is 10, 4 through 5b, 10, 4 through 5. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask of God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, ye may know the truth of all things. I came to Christ as a child because of the power of the Book of Mormon. I bore my testimony about that before. The Book of Mormon isn't the Book of Wars or people traveling over boats. I've mentioned this before also. It's a message of hope. It's a message of peace. It's a message of Christ. It's a message of unity. It's given to us to help us to understand that we are all one people and that we all do better when we help one another. A race from the top is nothing more but a path to the bottom. But the Book of Mormon has a special power about it. And that special power isn't something that we should deify or worship. It's something we should understand and take advantage of. Really, when it gets down to it, the Torah is really the foundational scripture of our religion. Because we're Christians, and Christianity is a branch of Judaism, and the base scripture of Judaism is the Torah. The Gospels of Jesus Christ are essential to our understanding of the Torah as Christians because Jesus, as Jehovah, or Yahweh, or Yavah, as I like to call him, yad heh vav -Heh, gave us the law, the Torah, through Moses. And I, as soon as I said the word law, I immediately read it. I do not like calling it the law. I like calling it the Torah because it's not the law. It's the teachings. We understand the teachings better when we see someone living those teachings. And Jesus Christ gave us that example in his birth, his life, his death, and his resurrection. We have an additional witness. It's not another gospel. It's an additional witness of Jesus Christ. And that witness is the Book of Mormon. And the reason why it's not another gospel is because it doesn't give us the life of Christ. It gives us a testimony of Jesus Christ. Yes, he comes in 3 Nephi and teaches as part of the resurrection, but that's not as the living Christ. That's as the resurrected Christ. He has not come to us as the Word made flesh. He has come to us as our God, our Redeemer. So that the Book of Mormon can testify that he lives. Therefore, it is a testimony of Jesus Christ. It's also a key. We are born connected to God, but our egoism locks the door to that path, to that access. The Book of Mormon unlocks the power of the, the gift, the spiritual gift of prophecy and revelation, giving us direct access to that divine source. This is going to be a shorter video today. I am making this video for one reason and one reason only. And that's because I want you to know that the Book of Mormon is special. It doesn't replace anything. But it has a purpose and it has a place in our lives and our religion. We've gotten to a point to where there are so many books out there that we could read and study. We could open up a library. We would need wheelbarrows to haul them all around. Let's be realistic. But the Book of Mormon keeps us centered on Jesus Christ. I want to testify to you today that if you feel impressed to go and read other holy books, do it. 
So what do we do with all these books? I think there's a reason why the Book of Mormon had to come first. Because of what Moroni said. By the power of the Holy Ghost, ye may know the truth of all things. This is a key witness, brothers and sisters. It's not about what church you belong to. It's about centering yourself in Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to follow the Holy Spirit wherever it leads you. Take that journey into the wilderness. Take the Book of Mormon with you. Take this promise of Moroni with you. And know that as long as you keep your connection with God strong, the Holy Ghost will show you the truth of all things. That's my testimony. And I want to leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you've enjoyed this short message on hope and Jesus Christ, please like and share this video. If you'd like to hear more messages of hope, please subscribe to the channel. We want to create a safe place for all those seeking light and guidance where they can come and think critically, think for themselves, and teach one another. That's the purpose of a fellowship. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website, cjccf.org. If you'd like to reach out and talk to somebody here, info at cjccf.org. We would love to talk to you. And of course, please feel free to make comments in the video below. We will get back with you there also. Until next time, shalom and God bless.